We recently shared the results of a similar test where we walked you through a cam test on the same 2JZ but with a 6466 next gen instead. Today's test will be done in the same fashion but the results will be different as I'm sure you can imagine. For a quick recap on that 6466 test, we ended up selecting the Kelford T202-C for the one size fits most winner. If you want a deeper dive into how we got to that conclusion, feel free to check out our written blog post that also includes the video, which is linked in the description down below. Now, same as the last test, today we will also be comparing four of the popular Kelford cam options for this non-VBTI 2JZ, and the cams we'll be testing today are the Kelford T202-B-C D and F. Before we dive into the test, let's go over a few of the constants. The engine in use is a 3 liter 2JZ GTE with 9 to 1 compression ratio and a completely unported GTE non VVTI cylinder head. We have a Plasma Man intake manifold paired with a 72 millimeter throttle body, a Plasma Man air to air intercooler, and for the turbo kit components, we're using an RTEC T4 divided manifold and a T4 divided 115. AR back housing onto the next gen 6870 precision turbocharger. The fuel in use is the same as the last test, one ethanol S, which is 112 octane fuel. The dyno itself is a Superflow SF Powermark engine dyno, and the configured acceleration rate is 600 RPM per second. During our last test, we identified that over 550 horsepower or so, the C cam started to show gains over the B cams, leading to our recommendation of reaching for the C cams in a 600 to 850 horsepower 6466 next gen application. The 6870 mirrored our findings with the 6466. The C-Cam is far and away the better choice for people who have a wide range of boost targets. Someone like a road racer, people on flex fuel, or those who aren't necessarily looking to push a 6870 to its absolute max. But those who are, let's see where you fall. Based on our testing, we feel that the DCAMs will offer a peak power gain from roughly 23 PSI onwards or 850 to maybe 1050 horsepower, but below this higher horsepower range at a lower boost level, the C cam offers very similar power with expected better response as well. At this point, we've already gotten our answers. We have two different recipes, one for 650 to 970 roughly, where the C cam is the winner, and then another one that'll be for 850 to 1050 roughly for where the D cam is the winner. For the sake of this testing, we're also gonna be testing the F cam. We understand it's a 2000 horsepower cam. It's not oriented for what we're using it here, but let's just go ahead and use it. Here we see the result of excess camshaft overlap on exhaust pressure. We targeted the same boost but picked up 12,000 RPM of turbocharger speed and 15 and a half pounds of exhaust pressure while losing 70 horsepower. That doesn't mean the F cams are bad, just bad for this application. If I could have you take anything away from this video, it would be to think ahead and decide where you'll be using your car and for what use. The C cam worked great on the 6870 at 650 to roughly 970 horsepower. Your flex fuel type of guy, someone who's gonna be road racing or something of that fashion, where the D cam worked great on the 6870 next gen, further turned up somewhere around 850 to maybe 1,050 horsepower. This will be maybe a drag racer who's looking to push things hard, Wesley. Someone who works here at Real Street, so. 
That's not to say that you can't run the C higher or that you can't run the D lower. It's just an optimal range, which we're showing you here. If you want to squeeze everything you can out of your application, these are the steps in which you do it. As we mentioned before, we'll also be releasing this third step of the test soon, where we're gonna be testing these same four cams, but next on a next gen 7275 by Precision. Like always, we'd love to hear your comments in the section down below. If you have any ideas of what uh, you'd like to see us test in the future, please let us know. We're always listening to your guys' suggestions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.